All right. <clears throat> we were in, um, we just finished Pericute, uh, Peric Tess. We're uh, about to start Pericute. Just a brief um, recap. We had been talking about the concept of uh, Eulomatillus, that Eulomatillus is a mamutza between orange soif and Eulomus. And um, nevertheless, Atzillus is um, regarded as, at the same time, Ba'ena Roch to Oren Sof. And at the same time, there is a certain concept of Erech. How does that work? So we said that the Ba'ena Roch is the union of the Kalim of Atzillus, and the union of Erech is the Oirois of Olam Atzillus. The Oirois are... Um, are not Ba'ena Roch to, um, to Oren Sof. In fact, I am Shocha from, uh, from Oren Sof, by the Kav and so on and so forth. He then went on to explain a little bit more about the Kalim, why the Kalim called uh, Ba'ena Roch, because the Hishavus is from the Timtum. They come about by way of the Timtum. And not only that, but even the Chayus in the Kalim, never mind the Kalim themselves, that even the Chayus of the Kalim, the Shoresh is from the Rishimo. Um, and the Rishimo is also a Koyach Nivdal. And these are why it's because the Rishimo is what's left over after the Timsum from the Koyach HaGvul, the power of limitation, the Koyach HaGvul, that is in Orient Sof, uh, before the Timsum, and when the Timsum happens, then the Koyach HaGvul, the Koyach HaBligvul is removed, and the Koyach HaGvul is Mizgale. Now, the Chayus of the Kalim is the seven Shemois, Shainon and Chakim, the seven uh, holy names that we know how to erase. And um, the Oyer is essentially Bechin Sapaya. In any event, they are um, the Kalim of Bechin Zerichuk, and therefore um, we would say that the Kalim are without the, without the, um, the seven Shemois, are like a Kagufa Bolonish Maso. He also explained that uh, another shita in how the kalim come about, and that is bepegias or yoshev or choizer, the or yoshev and or choizer knocking to each other, so to speak. And he gave a moshe for that, and he said two talmuds of chachomim that are arguing in halacha or in svara, and the sparks are flying. And uh, the way it's explained is that letters narizal from the from the clashing of the or yoshev and or choizer. Uh, letters fall from there. So this concept of letters falling, the falling letters are the Bechidus Rechuk. Uh, that's the end of the distance between um, uh, the um, Orient Sof before the Tzimtzum and afterwards the Kalim, therefore the Bechidus Rechuk. Okay, we can now start uh, Perik Yud. Let me just share screen so that we can look at it together. All right, very good. Well, gam the BMS, gam a kelim da tilus and bechinus a tilus. Even though uh, we said that the kelim of bechinus rihuk, they're at a distance from the orange sof to the extent that we can call them ba'ena roch. Nevertheless, you have to say that the kelim are also a tilus. And since all of a tilus is elokus, so the kelim also elokus. As he says, Shaharem Elokus Mamish. And that's why the, the Chayos of the Kli is one of the Shemos. Shainan Chakib. It's Elokus. So, how do we reconcile these two in here, two in Yonim? So, he explains. Mikoma kom bechinus a Elokus, the Kalim, ends up bechinus is Pashtus Eloka. The Elokus in the Kalim is not a, a direct extension of. Eloka of, of HaKadosh Baruch Hu himself, so to speak, or if you want to put it this way, the Orain Sof. The Kalim are not a direct Hispashtus from there. On the contrary, they're Ba'ena Roch, as we just explained, they're a distance that begins Richuk and begins Nafila as regards the Orain Sof. As he goes on to explain, the Ainu, Hispashtus HaOram Orain Sof HaMatzil, but begins Giloy, it's the Kalim are not that. The Kalim are not his pashtus or himself, they don't come as a radiance from Orient of itself in a revealed way. On the contrary, the whole in the Kalim is that they dafka not, they don't reveal what's in the Bechinus Helem. 
um, as we will explain, ki mashe ba bechinus habdola berichuk. The Indian of the Kalim is that the bechinus habdola and the bechinus berichuk, they're far away, so to speak, from the Orient Soif. And he's going to give a beautiful moshal for it, which is a moshal that explains this thing absolutely perfectly. And that is from Nitoitzois, sparks that fly off from a fire. Now these sparks, each of the little sparks is essentially ash. It is the Indian of ash. But nevertheless, it's ash, it's fire that's separated from the original source of the fire, from the avuka, from the, um, uh, from the bonfire. Right, so these sparks that are flying off are ash, but they're separated. Same thing with the Kalim of Atsilus. There are oil, but they have become separated. There are elokus that's become separated from the main uh, source. Like a spark that flies off from the uh, fire. It's literally, its essence is fire. It's a spark of fire. That's what it is. Shabami etzma avuka, and it comes from the fire itself. It comes from this bonfire. That's where it comes. That's that's its source. That's its origin, and that's its nature. Nevertheless, what is the difference between that and the bon? It's separated from the bonfire. Okay, mikumakum haru nivdal min avuka. It has become separated from the um, from the uh, from the flame from the um, bonfire. And it's not like a, an actual flame in the in the fire that itself gives it gives light. It's a spark of light, but it itself does not um, produce any further light. Right? Okay. More gamekinus are kalim. Similarly, with the kalim of olamatzilus, shahen elokus mamish. True, they are elokus, as we said. The spark is also fire. So the elokus mamish and nets on the kinus asmus orient sof, and they come from asmus orient sof. That is where the kalim come from. But what? From what aspect of orient sof do they come? From the aspect of gvu, from the aspect of limitation, the self limitation of orient sof. Not that something else is limiting from outside. It's his limitation of himself, right? Hakadosh Baruch Hu's limitation of himself. In order that there should be an inyan of gvu, in order that there should be an inyan of oilimus mukbalim. So we see that the Kaim of Atzilus come from the Kaim of Koach HaGvul Sheboi. The Koach HaGvul in the Orient Sof. Which had to, which was Behelem. The Koach HaGvul was Behelem until the Tzimtum. Why? Because the Koach HaBligvul completely swamped the Koach HaGvul. And the only way for the Koach HaGvul to be revealed is when the Koach HaBligvul is removed. Or hidden, to be more precise. Nevertheless, the Koach HaGvu, when it becomes Mizgale, as the Kalim of Atzilus, it's Bukhinus Abdola Mina Etzim, it's separated from, uh, from the Etzim, from the Or Ein Sof itself. Kamosh Kasov and Rekanati, as the Rekanati writes, who's the Rekanati? The Rekanati, Rabbi Menachem Rekanati, was an Italian Makubal. He lived approximately at the same time as the Ramban. I think he was a little younger than the Ramban, I don't know, like 10, 15 years, 20 years maybe, younger than the Ramban. But uh, they lived more or less in the same Takufa. So Menachem Rekanati, and he, um, he wrote a number of, uh, of uh, important sforim in Kabbalah. He was one of the early um, uh, organizers of ideas in Kabbalah. So Rekanati. So he writes about the Indian of the Esos the Meoir HaGodl, he's Noitzetu HaKelim. He also uses this lotion, this lotion of Nitzotz. He's Noitzetu HaKelim. From the Or HaGodl, from the Orain Sof, the Kelim of the Esos Firios, he's Noitzetu. They derived from there like sparks derived from the fire. The Indian, as I'll explain, the Indian is Noitzetu who the fact that the sparks are called nitotsois means that they're not the oil itself. They're not atzilus mamish. They become bebechinus enaroch to the orange sof and the bebechinus avdol, as we'll explain. As we explained already, actually. Shehu al derech v'yotzim in aruach asher alav Asher al Moshe, Hakarish Bohu, took from the Ruach that was upon Moshe and he put it on the Zakanim. 
Now the Zakanim were independent people, and yes, they had the Ruach of Moshe, but Moshe didn't have to be around for them to have the Ruach. It wasn't like the rays of the sun coming out of the sun. It was the Koyach of Moshe that was given to the Shivim Zakanim. Um, HaKadosh Baruch Hu took the Ruach from the Ruach that was upon Moshe and he put it on the Shivim Zakainim. So they too had the Koyach and Avua uh, and so on and so forth, all the Inyonim that Moshe Rabbeinu, uh, all the Inyonim Moshe Rabbeinu had. So, Shuwal Derech Vayotam in Ruach, Shiha Ora, it's a radiance that came from Moshe, but now it is in a different place. It's no longer part of Moshe. I'm sorry, I, I, I said it wrong. It's not that it's separated completely. It's a ha'ora that's like a flame is bound to the coal. Right? He's, he's saying the opposite over here. When it says, that's the union of the Hamshocha of Oyer from Moshe Rabbeinu. I'm sorry, I got it wrong. Uh, I said it wrong. It's the Ha'ora of the Oyer from Moshe Rabbeinu onto the Zakainim. And that Oyer is still connected to, uh, to Moshe Rabbeinu, which is not the case with the Nitzots and the Shalhevit. The Nitzots is separated from the uh, flame, Masha and Cain, by Yotzim and Aruach, they still will begin as Atzilus. Okay. Uh, as he goes on to say, Masha and Cain, in his Noitzus, uh, which is not so of the Indian of his Noitzus, Shabbat Bukhinus Abdullah. The Nitot comes in a manner of Abdullah, Masha Enkain, the Ruach that was on the Zakaim. My apologies for misleading you for a minute there. Okay. And we could say as follows The Indian has Noitzus, that the sparking off from the main fire, who can Indian the Philos Oasis. It's just like that concept of, of, of the letters falling down from the clash of the svoras of different chachomim, so the oisias fall down, they fall down to a lower madriga, by way of the clashing of the or yosha and or choizer, sparks fly off, so to speak, and a new svora is born on a, um, um, they're a on lower madriga than the original svora, as he explained in the previous uh, minor. So, even though the Kalim of Atsilus are Elokus, they're called the Kalim of Atsilus. They still call Atsilus. They're not a different completely different quality from the Kalim of, uh, of the Koch HaGvul in the Orein Sof. They're not completely different. Those Kalim or those, uh, that Koch HaGvul is Elokus Mamish. It's a Koch of HaKoresh Baruch Hu. It's one of his Koches. The Koch HaGilui is the Or. The Koch HaGvul is the Indian of the Rishimu before the Tzimtum and then the Rishimu after the Tzimtum is um, the manifestation of the Koch HaGvul after the Koch HaGvul has been removed. Um, and uh, it still remains um, an Indian of Elokus. It's a Koch Eloki. It's not like Bria, which is a an Indian of Yeshmi Ayin. It's not created as an Indian of Yeshmi Ayin. It's not created as an Indian of because that's created in a way of Ein Aroch, Hanu far away from its original source. And whatever is created becomes Ein Aroch to Elokus Lagamre, Shem Bukhinis Yesh. And that's talking about Nivroim, that Bukhinis Yesh Mamish, and therefore they're Mamish by Ein Aroch. Mashain can be Kalim da Atsilus, the Kalim of Atsilus, they are still called Atsilus. They are still a very high Madrega, they are still the Indian of Elokus. Even though they are to their original source, nevertheless, they are elokus. Just like the spark is fire mamish, but it's separated from the original fire. It's not that in essence they are 
It's only in the manner that they created that they're Ba'ina Roch. In other words, the spark of fire, the, sorry, the fire in the spark is still fire. It's still original fire. It's still what it, uh, it's the same substance, so to speak, as the main fire. Only that it became separated from the main fire, and therefore it's a separate, um, it's, it's regarded as something nivdal. It's something that's Ba'ina Roch. The same thing with the Kalim of Atsilus. The, the, the Mahus of the Kalim of Atsilus is Elokus. Nevertheless, their creation, the way they were, they, they were brought about, the way they came about, was by way of Ba'ina Roch. The Hanu Da'ina Roch, and Hema'ena Ba'ezza Mahusam, Ki, Mashi Savusam, Hu Ba'ina Roch. The way they were, they were created, they were brought into being, is Ba'ina Roch. You can't really say created because that's Mamish Yesh Me'ayin. And you can't say that the Kalim of Atsilus is Yesh Me'ayin, that only applies to Olam Abriya and downwards. But they're, they're coming into being. They're coming into being as bounded and limited entities is ba'ena roch hainu b'bechinus richuk at a distance from the um, the orient sof. Our ba'etz mahusam, but nevertheless, in their essence, heim kamo shorshan u'makoyram. They are like the original shorshan makor, just like the spark is. Uh, also a little piece of fire. In other words, if we're talking about the Kalim of Atzilus, Shehein Elokus Mamash, that these Kalim are nevertheless the union of Elokus. They're Elokus. Now, we'll skip these brackets and come back um, subsequently. Yeah, we're going to come back to the brackets afterwards. Uh, this bracket over here from all this way over here we're going to skip for right now, and then we'll come back after we finish that. Otherwise, we're going to lose the main point. Okay, so he says like this. So these kalim are elokus mamish. Mikomakoim, nevertheless, harehem gamken bechinis yesh mi'ayin. At the same time that these, um, um, at the same time that these, um, these kalim are um, elokus, nevertheless, they're still called uh, Yeshmi Ayin. In what sense are they called Yeshmi Ayin? They're called Yeshmi Ayin because Shahim Bechin is Gvul. Since they are Gvul, they cannot be Ein Sof. They cannot be part of the Or Ein Sof. It's not possible. It would be a Tata de Satria, two, two completely um, uh, contradictory sentences, uh, statements, ideas. The, the, the aspect of Yesh Mi'ayin, the Bechinus Yesh Mi'ayin, we don't call them Mamish Yesh Mi'ayin because that's the Indian of Oilam Apriya, as I just mentioned, but the Bechina, the aspect of Yesh Mi'ayin, why they call an aspect of Yesh Mi'ayin? Because they Bechinus Gvul, i.e. they are Ba'in Aroch. What are they Ba'in Aroch to? Lagabe or in Sofa Bli Gvul. Lagabe Bli Gvul, the Kalim of Atsilos have an Indian of Gvul. And their creation comes about, their, 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 their coming into being comes about in a way of Ein Aroch. Like the Nitzots and the uh, fire. And uh, furthermore, not only are they Bebechinus Ein Aroch, but the Ein Aroch of the Kalim of Atzilus are more by Ein Aroch to the Orein Sof than Oilam Asiya is to Oilam Atzilus. Because Oilam Atzilus and Oilam Asiya are, if the truth be told, told just one extension. Olam Atzilus gives rise to, through Seydish Toshlus, gives rise to Olam Asiya. So Olam Asiya has Epis and Erech in some sense or another to Olam Atzilus. Masha Enke and Atzilus to Oren Sof before the Tzimtum, the En Aroch. That's what he said. But here is the Masha En Aroch, Asiya Legabe Yatzilus. The Ein Aroch of Atzilus to Orein Sof is much greater than the Ein Aroch of Asiya Lagabe Atzilus, because after all, there is some Erech. Asiya is the end of the chain of Ishtal Shalus, where Atzilus is the beginning of the chain, but it's still the same chain. Masha Enka in that chain is completely not present, that's completely absent from the Orein Sof. And explains this a little bit further. The Hariya Kainu Atzilus Nasim Naran Lebiya. The Kalim of Atzilus eventually become the Nefesh Ruch Neshama of the lower worlds, the worlds of Yitzir and Asiya, and in that order. Neshama, uh, neshama, neshama of, um, of Atzilus, Neshama of the Kalim of Atzilus, Neshama in Atzilus, 
becomes Bria, Ruach becomes Yetzira, and Nefesh becomes uh, Asiya, right? In other words, the Kalim, in the Kalim itself, you have three Madragas are within a Kli. There's the, or what's called sometimes the Rosh Toch Sof of the Kli, the Rosh Toch Sof, the, the highest aspect of the Kli, which is the inner aspect of the Kli, the middle aspect, and the outer aspect of the Kli, right? It's also called Pnimi, Emtsoi, and Chitsoini, the inner aspect of the Kli, which is what, so to speak, touches the oil within it. That's the highest Madrega. Then there's the in between aspect of the Kli, which is uh, a lower aspect. And there's the Chitsoini of the Kli, which is the lowest aspect, right? That's called the Nefesh Ruach Neshoma of the Kali. So again, the Hariya Kali, the, the, the Atzilus Nasim, the Pnimis of the Kli of Atzilus becomes the Neshoma of Bria becomes the Ruach, the in-between, the Emtoi, becomes the Ruach in, uh, in Yetzirah. And the Chitsoini, the outermost aspect of the Kalim of Atzilus, becomes the Nefesh of Asiya. All right. V'chol Mashin is Haba Bibiya, everything that there is in the world of Bri Yetzirah, Asiya, HaKolum Uchinus HaKalim Atzilus. Everything comes, it all comes from the Kalim of Atzilus. As the Alter Rebbe um, quotes when he's quoting um, uh, the uh, Tikkun Ezoyar, He and his causations, causations is uh, another word for Kalim, the Fima Asai Ani Ekra, his causations, his actions. Yeah, according to his deeds, he is called as referring to the Kalim of Atsilus. The Iuva Gamoi, he and his Kalim are one but not the same as he and his oirois are one. Even chayoi, the oirois, are a different madrag of achtus than the kalim. The kalim are a certain madrag of achtus, a much lower madrag of achtus, and the oirois are a much higher madrag of achtus. Diwagamoi chad livroi. What are they chad in? What sense are they chad livroi? To create other things. Only the Abish himself can create. Rak v'koycho v'yecholto livroi yesh mi'ayin. But how does he do it? Through the kalim of Atzilus. Right, those are the tools that he uses to create. That's talking about him. Who is completely transcends the the the, the, uh, the category of nivroim. It's ihu. It's he himself. But ihu garmoi garmoi again the kaliyum bechinas garmoi ihu. The inner gamoi, his causations, his levai, lefi maasai, his maisim, those are have a shaykhus to the nivroim. As we know from uh, from another from other places where it says as follows, the ihu shemis yachelim gamoi in pirushim in the Tanya, the bechinas ihu shemis yachelim gamoi. Uh, he, the, he himself, that is, unites with Gamoi, who begins bli misfar, who begins Gamoi, who begins misfar. So, this is actually from uh, from this week's parsha. Um, uh, when Moshe Rabbeinu gives a bracha, he gives a bracha which is begins misfar, elef pamim kacha, and uh, and Bnei Yisrael complains and they say, "Hakadosh Baruch Hu is a give us a bracha which is infinite, and you giving us a bracha which is only finite." Um, and they bring a pasuk in Yeshaya, uh, sorry, in Hosea. The pasuk in Hosea says, "Umispar Yisrael, kachol Hashem's fasayam, Hashem lo yisafeh v'lo yimad v'lo yimad." So the mispar of Bnei Yisrael, the mispar, the the number of Bnei Yisrael is lo yisafeh v'lo yimad, cannot be counted or measured. So how can you have it? It's a It's a, it's a contradiction in terms. It says the misbar is a number that can't be counted. The number is a number that can be counted. Well, is a number or not a number? So the explanation is the Indian of Bli misbar and misbar are two different aspects. The the Ihu is the Bli misbar. In other words, the infinite is HaKadosh Baruch Hu, And the Garmoi, the Kalim, Abuchin is misbar. That's the limitation. Okay. The Gam HaOris Abuchin is Ihu and also the radiance of uh, of Ihu, which comes about through the Kalim, Mavur Sham, it's explained over there, the Yeshlam Mishubakin is Mispar. 
that that's the aspect of Mispar in the Shir Koima Shal that that's called the Shir Koima of the Creator. Uh, there's a whole sefer called Shir Koima, which um, most people don't learn today, um, and it um, it comes to try and explain uh, the size of Hakadosh Baruch Hu, like the dimensions, which Again, it's a tata de satra, and that's why most people don't learn that safer. In fact, there were opinions that it should be nignas, that it should be buried away, and it shouldn't be learned by anybody. But um, we have the safer, and um, it's talking about the Shiru Koima. In other words, it's not talking about a Kodesh Baruch himself, it's talking about the causations, in other words, the Kalim, and the measure of the world from the beginning of Atilus all the way down. That's what the Shiru Koima is. It's not the measurement of HaKadosh Baruch Hu himself, Chas V'Sholem, who's the beginner's bleak wool and the Lamalami bleak wool, I feel. Right? Lamalami bleak wool. Okay, so. Shazay Inyan Shiru Koima Shon Yod Zebreshis. Harash Yesh Lehem Eze Erech. In other words, the Kalim have, um, where were we? Um, the Kalim have an Erech to or rather, Olam HaAtzilus has an erech to uh, Olam HaAsiya, to the Olam of Biya, but even to Olam HaAsiya via the Kalim. <coughs> but those same Kalim, oh, Mubchinus Ein Aruch to the Oren Tzof, but the Kalim that Atzilus, the Gabi Oren Tzof, and Mubchinus Ein Aruch to the They are Mubchinus Ein Aruch. There's no erech between the Kalim of Atzilus and the Oren Tzof uh, before the Tzimtum. Okay, let's now go back to where we um, where we um, skipped. Um, if you want to find it, if you're following in your safer, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight lines up from the bottom. Vahakilukim. Regular print print on Daptes Zion. Yeah? Yeah, I found it. You got it? Okay, so. Vahakilukim. Uh, when we make uh, different madregas, when we descri- describe different madregas in uh, in Elokus, so we're saying that even though there might be different madregas over there, that's not to 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 Hakadosh Baruch Hu, because obviously we're talking about um, um, we talk about Elokus, uh, and Elokus is never is never by an aruch to elokus, obviously. Uh, so he goes on to explain this a little bit more. Why much? Because the yom tov shel rosh shana reish on above. She ha kelim datil is ein mutinus muhus acher be etzem legamay ha kelim da ak. Right. As regards the kelim of ak, it's not that the it's not that the um, the kelim of atzilus are, are any different essentially than the kelim of ak. The kelim of ak are also after the tzimtum, they post tzimtum. And even though really in uh, in olam uh, adam kadmoim. It's very difficult to talk about the Indian of Kalim in uh, Adam Kadmoin. Nevertheless, we do talk about them in, to- in terms of the various Chushim. Right? We talk about the Kalim, even in uh, one of the worlds that comes out of uh, Ak, which is called the world of Akudim. Even in Akudim, there's only one Kli and ten Oirois. Right? So it's very hard to talk about Kalim in, uh, in Ak, but nevertheless, in a general sense, we can talk about the Kalim of Ak, which are the Chushim of Ak. The, the, in other words, the, the eyes, the ears, the nose, and the mouth. Those are the Chushim, the, um, uh, the senses. And those are the Kalim, essentially, of Ak. So these Kalim of Ak are not essentially different from Oilam Hatzilus. Why? Because they're both post symptom. Even Ak is post symptom. It's on a much higher Madrega, but nevertheless. So he explains, the head of Matthew that the lack of existence, in other words, the lack of Yeshus of the Kalim of Atzilus, of, uh, of Ak, Hemrak, Bechin Asherish Neshomas the Gufim. They're the, um, um, the Kalim of Ak, or the Indian of the Shurs and the Neshomas. That's where all the Neshomas ultimately come from, from the Indian of Arma Kadmoin. And over over there, the the header Hamatzias they don't have any any um, um, physical is not the right word for it, but they don't have any Matzias Mamish. In other words, defined existence. 
for one reason, one reason only. Rak mitzad ha'or shemer b'hem b'toykev ha'gilui. Because of the oil that floods the oil of Adam Kadmo, and therefore the, the Kalim don't have a Matthias per se. But in a sense, they're the same, they're not, they're not uh, in a different getter than the Kalim of Atsilus. They're still post Timtum. Both of them are post Timtum. Therefore, you can say that Atsilus is not even Ba'en Aroch to Ak. Atsilus is Ba'en Aroch to Lorraine Sof, Livne Timtum, but not Ba'en Aroch to Ak. Okay? So when we say that the Kalim of Atzilus are taka ba'en aroch, where are they ba'en aroch to? Hein ba'en aroch legamre hu legamre ha'en sof abligvu. That's where the union of en aroch legamre comes about. That's where the union of en aroch is. V'chein legamre or ha'meir ba'hem, also even in the oil that illuminates the Kalim of Atzilus, shuha ha'ores ha'ores sof. Uh, that that um, um, that is also by uh, ena uh, um, um, to the kalim. That even the orange soft that that illuminates atzilus is by ena to the kalim. He's going to explain. But yesh loimar, we could say it as follows: the kmo kain who gam the gavu chinas koyach gvul kmo shul if neatimtum the koyach gvul itself before the timtum is also in the same sense, um, a, um, it has the same kind of concept of um, of of being sort of how could you call it transparent? They're transparent oasis. They're not oasis that come with bechinos gevul. He's going to explain. Um, he actually gives a marshal from the Luchois. The Hari of Nea Timtum, when we're talking about before the Timtum, Eno Shaykh Inen Matthias Klo. There's no Inen Matthias. So the Inen of the Kalim or the Korada, the Koyacha Gavu, in the Orange Sof before the Timtum, it is not Bebechinus Einaroch, it is Bebechinus Bitl Lagamre Lagabe the Oiris, right? And therefore it has. Um, the same quality as the oil. It's transparent to the oil. It doesn't, it doesn't mug build the oil at all. Darif Nea Tzimtum Eino Shaykh Inin Metze Inin Hamatziyus Klal Ba'ez Oipen Shiyya Not in any way whatsoever. Not even in conceptual. Kumosh Kaz Badrush Anal as is written in Samad Vavav Deh Be'inyan Oisis HaChakika As regards the concept of Oisis HaChakika What's the Inin Oisis HaChakika as opposed to Oisis HaKsiva? The difference between them is as follows, that Chakika, the oysters that are <coughs> engraved, are part of the, with that which is engraved in. They're not a separate, something added to the stone. They're, in, they're engraved, excuse me, <coughs> they're engraved within the stone. The oysters of Chakika are part of the stone. That's how you would read them, as part of the stone. That's in the oysters of Chakika. Masha Enke and oysters of Ksiva, letters that are written. They're written, they're, they're a separate metzius, from the parchment on which they're written. This is ink that is made from various resins and so on and so forth. And that is parchment. Yes, when the two of them put together, when you write the letters on the parchment, they come become one thing. But in origin, they're two different things. Masha Enka and Oisis Chakika are minei ubei. They're part of the thing into which they are etched or into which they are carved. Right? So, in Oisis Chakika, the Ifnei Atzimtzum, Ukmo Chakika Me'eber La'eber. Not only are they part of the thing that they um, are, are, are etched into, that they're carved into, but they're mi'evela aver, meaning to say it's not that they're, um, um, it's not that they're just carved somewhat into the stone, they're through and through, all the way through. Like it was with Lucas Arishoinus. The Lucas Arishoinus, the letters went all the way through the stone, meaning to say it wasn't that there was anything chaser in the stone. It wasn't that there was something missing in the stone with the oasis being sort of scratched out or etched out or whatever. And then uh, you could see them that way, but it went all the way through, all the way through to the other side. And therefore, it was just surrounded by stone. In other words, it was what I think they call, they call it in art, I think they call it negative space. When you draw all around something and you leave what's in the, in the middle, right? So if you draw, um, yeah, let me just uh, see if I can do something like that. Um, 
where are we? Let's go new share. Okay, whiteboard share. Okay. Uh, share the whiteboard. All right, so a negative space looks like this. <coughs> Let's say you wanted to draw. <coughs> Let's do the letter U because it's a small letter and very easy to do. Right? So instead of drawing a yod and draw, drawing it like that or whatever, however it would be uh, drawn, actually a letter yod is always drawn sort of like this. And, the, and then the thorn on the bottom, all right. Okay, but then we're not sorry for him now. We just, um, let's say you have a block of stone, right? And instead of carving out a yod on the stone, all you do is you black out everything except this area where the yud is, right? Uh, let's say that's the yud, right? So all of this is blacked out all around, and that would leave the letter yud in the middle, right? So it's etched into the stone through and through. Interestingly enough, just to mention the Arizal, because uh, it's the Arizal's yod site today, Arizal's Hilula, Arizal says that um, uh, there's a Gemara, Gemara in Hoyrius, that talks about all the things that cause forgetfulness. And uh, one of the things that causes forgetfulness is um, um, looking at the, um, looking at what's written on a tombstone. If you read the letters on a tombstone, that's what Chazal say in the Gemara. Looking at the tombstone causes a person to forget. But what brings back his, um, uh, but 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 that's I says they are resolved. That's only if the letters are boilate, if they stick out of the tombstone. But if they come into the tombstone, then not, right? So um, so kosher came of when we when we're talking about the union of the um, of the luchos that they were carved through and through the the luchos. All right, me'evel eivesh ayah beluchos arishonish lo yesh klal metzius oisus. It's not that there's no metzius of oisus. The metzius of stone around an empty space and that empty space makes the letter so too with the union of the kocha gvul before the symptom the oisius kaviochol of the kocha gvul are defined <coughs> by the oil around them so to speak and kalim that are in and down they are by Enaroch to that Madrega of uh, of um, of the oasis of the Kocha Gru. Gambe etzem husan. Even in their essence, they're uh, by Enaroch. While Gambe begins a Rishimo, but as that's in the Orient, so before the Tzimtum, but Gambe begins a Rishimo, Moshu laachar a Tzimtum, but compared with the Rishimo which comes after the Tzimtum, Ena Kalim by Enaroch be etzem husan. Kim bo even is avusan. They're not by Enaroch. Essentially, from the kalim of the Rishimon, the kalim of Atzilus are not essentially different in quality from the uh, kalim of the Rishimon, from the oasis of the Rishimon, but they're only by Enarok in the manner that they were created. They were created in a manner of Rihuk, in a manner of separating the spark from the fire, so to speak. Spark separated from the fire. <laughs> The, the true Indian of Ein is only Lechon. Even to the Orient Sof, you could say that there's Ep is some kind of area because the Orient Sof, one way or another, becomes the rest of the Metzius through the Tzimtum and so on and so forth. But when we say, Ein Aroch Lecha, Hashem Elokeinu Ba'elam Hazeh, right? Ein Aroch Lecha, the true Indian of Ein Aroch is La Hashem Elokeinu, Lecha, Ein Aroch Lecha, right? Ein Aroch Lecha to HaKadosh Baruch. Okay, that was the uh, bracket that we just um, that we just that we had skipped before. Uh, let's just do the kids, sir. Kids, Gam Shakelim, Gaham Gam Kenatzilus. Even though the Kalim themselves are also the world, uh, or are also called Atzilus, the Kalim of Atzilus are also called Atzilus. In Yazevu Bukhinus is Noitzitus. This is the aspect of the sparking off of the fire of the the spark is still flame, but it's separated from the main fire. Uh, this is, um, um, it's a drush in the Tzemach Tzedek where he discusses the various shittas 
in the spheroids, what the spheroids, what the nature of the spheroids are. It's a long drush, and it discusses over there the shita. One of the shitas it discusses is uh, Rabbi Menachman Rekanati, discusses all of them, all, all of the different shitas. At least all of the main ones. Just like a spark, which is also fire, but it's nivdal, it's separated from the flame. And therefore, Lagabe the Makor in Ak, the Oasis of Rashimo, Ahara Timsum, and even Lagabe the Oasis of Rashimo, after the Timsum, and between the Shuna Mahus. They're not a different quality altogether, and not a different thing. The Kalim of Atsilus are still related to the Kalim of Ak, and even to the Oasis of the Rashimo. So, where's the Indian of Aina Roch? Well, Lagabe or in Sofa Bligvul, the Gam Lagabe Harashimo, Lifnai Hatsimtum. So, Lagabe, the Orange of Obligvul, that's where the Ba'ena Roch is. And even to the Rishimo, in other words, the Koach HaGvul, in the Orange of before the Tzimtum, Lagabe Rishimo, which is the Koach HaGvul, in the Orange of before the Tzimtum, that's where the Ba'ena Roch. Harem Ba'ena Roch, Yoyz Ma'ishayena Roch, Atzilus Lagabe, sorry, Yoyz Ma'ishayena Roch, Asiya Lagabe Atzilus, is Ena Roch Atzilus Lagabe Orange of Yifnei Tzimtum. So the Aina Roch of Atsilus to um, the Orient Sof before the Timtum is much greater than the Aina Roch of Olam Asiya to Olam Atsilus. Why? Because after all, Olam Atsilus is the beginning of the chain, Olam Asiya the end of the chain, and there is Ephesus Shachas between the two of them. Masha Ein Kain, uh, the Yeshus or the Indian of Kalim, the Indian of Agbola in Olam Atsilus is not found at all in Orient Sof Nivne Atsilus. Okay, that concludes Perek Yud, and I have to run. Thank you, everybody, and uh, especially Eliezer. <laughs> <laughs>